Hi, boys and girls. Miss Nona here with uh, this week's story for story time. Oh, it's cold out, isn't it? Well, we're going to read about polar bears this week, and I picked this cute story about Panda and Polar Bear by Matthew J. Bake to read to you today. In a place where spring met winter, there lived two kinds of bears. Where it was green and grassy lived the panda bears. And where it was white and wintry lived the polar bears. Aren't they cute? But in between loomed a tall, steep, and slippery cliff. It was too tall for a panda bear to climb up, and too tall for a polar bear to climb down. And so the two never met. Look at the polar bears and the panda bears. Until one curious polar bear became too curious what was beyond his white wintry world. He walked closer to the edge of the cliff and closer and closer still, <gasps> perhaps a little too close. Is he falling? Yes, he did, but luckily the polar bear landed in a patch of soft, squidgy mud. It was sticky and brown and yick. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <gasps> Something was coming. The polar bear ran, but the cliff was too tall, too steep, and too slippery to climb up. Stop, stop, stop. It's coming. The polar bear covered his eyes. He peeked from behind his muddy paws. What does he look like now? And saw a strange, splotchy bear staring at him. Are you new? asked the strange, splotchy bear. Do you want to play? Um, said the polar bear. The splotchy bear took this as a yes. In no time they were climbing trees, playing hide and seek, and following the leader. They kind of look a little bit alike now, don't they? It's hard to tell which is which. Finally, they sat down for a snack. Yick, thought the polar bear. This bamboo is too hard. He had a better idea. Let's fish, he said to his new splotchy friend. The polar bear looked into the water and gasped. Could it be? He wasn't plain white anymore. He had turned into a splotchy bear. How fun! Splash! He swam and snatched a fish. Polar bears are good at fishing. And presently, proudly presented his catch. You're fading, the splotchy bear said. Where are your panda patches? Panda patches, the polar bear replied. Aren't you a panda bear? asked the splotchy bear. No, he said quietly, I'm a polar bear. I'm all white, just like snow. He sighed. What a terrifically splotchy panda bear would want to be friends with the plain white polar bear. But the panda bear's face brightened. I've never seen snow, he said. What's it like? So the polar bear explained all about snow. But the more he talked, the more he remembered, and the more he remembered, the more he missed. Suddenly, the polar bear was homesick. I'll help you get home, said the panda bear. But the cliff, the polar bear replied, I'll think of something, said the panda. So they thought, and he thought, and thought, until he couldn't think anymore. He looks pretty tired. Maybe we could use bamboo, suggested the polar bear. My mother told me never to play with food. I think it's okay this time, said the panda bear. Together they made a very long ladder. A very, very long ladder. Look at that. When it was finished, the time had come for the polar bear to go. He looked at the panda bear. Would they still be friends after he left? The polar bear wanted to ask, but he wasn't sure how. Instead, he turned and slowly climbed the ladder and climbed and climbed. The higher he went, the harder the wind blew. The ladder began to shake. And then it was suddenly still. The polar bear looked down. There was the panda bear holding onto the ladder with all his might. Don't worry, the panda called. I've got you. In fact, they had each other and a lot more to discover. Look at that, they left the ladder up so they can go down to the panda's world and up to the polar bear's world. How fun is that? How nice for those friends.
the end.